Broad weakness uh, that we're seeing across mm. Asia today, is that a bit of Friday fatigue setting in, or do you think there's something broader at play after what we heard come out of the Fed overnight? No, I, do, I, I think we're still in the, uh, the pattern, uh, the trend. Still a lot of cautiousness out there. We're not out of the woods. Valuation is definitely cheaper. So if you saw the last few days rebound, it tells you the, the value in, inherent in all these sold down stocks. But uh, there's still a lot of risk. You, you, you did the run through with what's going on around the world. It's not just uh, the rates continue to rise in the US, uh, but also you have, you have emerging issues in, in Europe as well. Uh, on, on, on our side of the world, results are coming out. On one hand, uh, the results are in line, they're okay, no disasters, but no one's going out of the script on outlook. So everyone's talking like just like most central bankers, you know, outlook's a bit difficult, we can't say anything too much. So that's added a bit of caution that's coming out of, 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 of this uh, third quarter result. So a lot of caution out there, probably right through to the end of this year. No one's going to make big moves, even though markets clearly oversold. Okay, what's going to be the next catalyst then for the global markets? Because we've had the US midterms this week. We got a result there that was widely as expected. US earnings season is wrapping up as well. For the most part, that was widely as expected. Do we now look at what's going to happen at the G20 meeting uh, in a couple of weeks' time? Uh, for that yes. to be the next catalyst for markets, if we get a deal between China and the US, could we see uh, the markets uh, off to the races? I think that's, that's exactly that. Uh, and it's not just markets reacting in an emotional way. Should that uh, meeting between President Xi and President Trump turn out on the right side of the deal, uh, it actually will lead to um, real changes because I think the outlooks for the next, uh, next two, three quarters really depends on uh, where, where trades is going to. If it is going to contract with more tariffs, particularly the one that's coming in January, if that persists, uh, you, you, will, you will get the, the negative scenarios to come. But should there be a resolution uh, between the two leaders? We're all hoping so. Uh, you, will, you will get some calmness because markets are clearly now more than pricing in the worst scenario. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.